should I start with this Summerton stuff? James Summerton is not dead. And all this stuff about H Bomber guy, you know, has a kill count and all this, you know, fake news just for kayfabe content uh, is complete bullshit. The, I talked about this yesterday. There was no evidence that he was dead. He's not dead. His Twitter account was deactivated yesterday. Now, he would have had to do that himself. Also, there is evidence here, if I can pull this up, uh, from James Summerton's ex-co-writer, Nick. By the way, I don't even give a fuck about James Summerton, but I do give a fuck about the usual suspects making up fake bullshit for their content. Uh, and we've seen it with Josh Moon. We've seen it with Fake Cancer Man. And it's just like, actually, you know what it's like? It's like, do you know that Bayou or Near fucking loser, whatever his name was, who the media wrote many articles uh, about him being dead. And I, you know, I kind of assumed he was, you know, it was reported everywhere. Well, Josh Moon and Kiwi Farms and all the usual suspects came out hardcore, said the guy was alive, kept denying that he had killed himself and that it was Kiwi Farms' fault, did that for months, and now apparently he is alive. But when it's some bullshit they want to push, when it's some fake news they want to use to boost their numbers, they're all over it. And that includes Josh Moon himself pumping up this fake-ass bullshit story. James Summerton is not dead. I don't even give a fuck about James Summerton and honestly never even heard of him until this H-Bomber guy video that I also didn't care about. Plagiarism on YouTube doesn't mean a motherfuck. It's complete fucking bullshit. Nobody should care about that. I can't understand how that got to be a big deal in the first place because it's fucking YouTube, and I talked about this yesterday. It's not a scholarly source. Nobody should give a fuck about plagiar. I mean, if you absolutely plagiarize word for word, I could see the person that you did that to giving a fuck. But as far as it being some, you know, major drama controversy that somebody, you know, should get the pitchfork out about, it's complete just lunacy. I almost everything on YouTube is plagiarized either directly or they heard somebody else talking about it. We watched some of these videos on the fucking cancerous sweet baby ink yesterday. And almost all of them said the same thing, including me. When I looked up the article, they're going off the same speech that the dumb bitch who runs it gave. And I guess there's a little bit more on it today. We'll talk about that too, but that's just how it works in the internet ecosystem. And the idea that anybody should give a fuck about plagiarism on YouTube is fucking retarded. It's absolutely fucking retarded. And it's even more retarded that they ran with this story that this guy killed himself when there was zero evidence that he did so. He posted some shit on Twitter about, oh, I'll, this might be my final message or some shit like that. And people ran with him supposedly killing himself. And this has been almost a week now. Almost a week they've been running with this. People are setting up streams to talk about it. I covered it yesterday throwing shade on it because I'd seen no evidence he was dead. And usually, if you're dead, it comes out relatively quickly. Some kind of evidence, right? Uh, you know, through local reports or a friend finds out and it goes on, twi you know, goes on Twitter or X, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Usually, there's something out there that shows that somebody has died. And again, I relate it to the Bayou slash Near situation. And Kiwi Farms apparently correct in that situation. They're like, well, there's no State Department reports. There's no local media reports. Well, there was none of that in this situation either. But that damn sure didn't stop the owner and editor and fucker-in-chief of Kiwi Farms from running with the story regardless. Because he has no problem with fake news as long as it's something that benefits himself. And it's always been that way, and it'll always be that way. And it's not just him, by the way. It's many others. But there's been this just internet fucking craze about this guy being dead and all these memes and stuff. And, you know, I understand the memery, etc. But there was never any evidence that he was dead in the first place. People who kill themselves usually just go ahead and kill themselves. They don't post about it on Twitter. Maybe they do post a final farewell. Then they kill themselves, and then you hear, oh, this guy killed himself. But that's not what happened here. It was complete phonery. Phonery is not a word, but <laughs> fakery in the first place. 
And again, that didn't stop anybody. And they're still trumpeting this to this very fucking moment that this guy is dead. Well, he's not dead because dead men don't deactivate their Twitter accounts, which is what he did yesterday. He's alive and well. Well, I don't know how well he is, but he's alive. And that's confirmed by him deactivating his Twitter account yesterday. And it's also confirmed right here from his ex-writer. I'm aware of the tweet and the situation right now. And to my knowledge, there's nothing to worry about. Well, I don't know what other proof you need. And honestly, the deactivation of the Twitter account is, I mean, that's just dead set evidence, just dead on evidence. And I'll see what the mumbler in chief had to say about it uh, because I actually haven't seen this segment. This is from his show the other day, 109, uh, I believe is the timestamp. Let me pull this up. Now, again, this is the fuck who never lets fake news get in the way of a bullshit story unless it's about him. Then he's outraged. Then he's up in arms, but he feels free to lie about everyone else and every other situation, which he does all the fucking time, non-stop. That's all it is over there is fake fucking news. And if you think I'm exaggerating, I'm not. Yeah, there might be, you know, a real, you know, screenshot or real bit of news here and there, but the actual thrust of the website is complete fakery and that's just facts and if you don't like hearing it i don't know what to tell you now let me let me pull this up okay i think this is the timestamp. let me see yeah it is i can't hear it hold on you guys find any cool silver on like a war trophy site buy it for me I want more. I want more. I'm not buying you any fucking silver. Josh Moon will never let a bullshit story go to waste. No, that's that's exactly right. Or I didn't oh yeah, I should have voted put suicide as an option, but I did not. Didn't have the, the foresight. Right. Into the little cow segment, the swerf hamster has done her job for today. No more hamsters. We're doing little cow stuff. You're one of those people that's, that looks for the hamster to disappear when you skim through the videos. This is the time. Well, every time you talk is doing law cow stuff since you created that whole site just to shield yourself. You're listening. You're the, this message confirms that we are out of the weeds and into the tall grass of the fields of the pastures. Let's start with a little recap. So a while ago, okay, do a recap. this guy called H-Bomber Guy. Who I'm not a I'm not too familiar with, but apparently he's a very like he looks like he is pure AIDS. He's like a British man who looks like he has AIDS. His eyes are like sunken and like brown. He has like butthole eyes. He's very. By the way, Josh weighs 300 pounds and is probably getting closer to PPP territory every single fucking day. Ugly, and he's a British. And he not the H like, bomber guy. It's not a weird looking motherfucker too. But says about gay shit apparently. Um, he is a graduate of the Medicare alumni. So Mr. Medicare, Jim, uh, was and by also the way, an alumni. That's another one who was run with the story with zero evidence whatsoever. And I understand there's a lot of kayfabe enjoyers out there. Retarded. <laughs> anyway. The Medicare forums and uh, another alumni was H. Bomber guy, which was like a trolling, like harassment, like Ventrilo, old school Ventrilo harassment type trolling group, I think. Um, and he has since gotten trolls from Morris renounced all that and moved on to bigger and brighter things such as critiquing queer content on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> a while back, I smoke doesn't give a shit, by the way, he was not enthused with the whole thing. He just stretched out and took up more of the mouse pad. I talked about this and I, um, when I actually watched in my off time, H bomber guys, full takedown of. Uh, plagiarist on YouTube, which was a sort of now in retrospect, it was kind of a master class in what he was trying to do. He was doing a video essay broadly. A master class. It was four hours long on YouTube plagiarism. He tried to call internet historian a Nazi. 
did, as far as I know. I didn't watch the motherfucker because I would rather hang myself from the ceiling beam than watch a four-hour video about YouTube plagiarism. I, that sounds like some type of Mossad torture treatment. Speaking about plagiarism on YouTube and how copyright theft or like content theft is like abundant and nobody cares. Nobody cares because they shouldn't care. Who gives a fuck? Um, he took a swipe at an historian. Um, he took a swipe at uh, like some other guy. But then it was mostly a no holds barred destruction total and complete humiliation of a guy called uh what's his name J it's well, at least i knew the motherfucker's name when i started the show yesterday and today i like james i don't his last i forget his last name it's james summerton i want to say summerland summerton i was right the first time kind of stupid i should just went with my gut and ignored all the naysayers james summerton who was a very popular, I want to say he, like, he is the worst at just messing up the, it could be a key fact, but it could also just be, <laughs> he does this all the time. <laughs> like a, or somebody's from, he says somebody's from a state that they're not actually from, or this event took place in a place that it actually didn't take place. It's massively annoying. Like a million subscribers on YouTube. A very uh, popular, What's like, up, slog? queer... When I say queer, I just mean he talks about gay shit all the time. He talks about how movies are gay. Well, I think he's gay, is he not? I don't know. Well, everything's secretly gay. All the characters of everything good ever made is secretly gay or gay-coded. Just, like, absolute trash fucking content, like, in, in humiliating gay retard shit that nobody should ever watch. But, which is... That's right, Cinemaz. It's just, like, basic details. Sometimes it can be a key fact. I've seen him get those wrong, too. But a, a lot of times, it's just, it's clear he doesn't anything about what he's talking about. Now, if I bring up a topic and I don't know everything about it, I just tell you. I don't know hardly anything about James Summerton. Except that he's alive. Apparently very popular with gay retards. Anyways, he wasn't just a gay retard, he was a plagiarist. Um, he routinely stole outright um, entire like chapters of books, books that were on his desk that that H bomber guy could easily just take the transcripts of his videos and control F sentences and find them in the books that he would show in his own, like in his set, like behind him on the shelf. And so H bomber guy over two hours took all. No, it w well, maybe that one segment was two hours, but the video itself was four and I saw it going around Twitter and we I even remember when it came out, I really, because I was thinking, and I said, I wasn't just thinking, like, who gives a fuck? Four hours on YouTube plagiarism? Maybe 30 minutes? I wouldn't care regardless, but I couldn't imagine a four-hour fucking video on that topic. Or almost any topic, if you want to know the truth about it. All of his recent videos and found that he plagiarized articles, he plagiarized books, he essentially did nothing except take concepts and ideas from other people's work and uh smash them together st stitch them together in a frankenstein way and then narrate them as if he's some sort of like genius on queer studies or whatever and he was very massively successful for doing so h bomber guy's article destroyed this guy well it wasn't an article it was a video but um it hurt his youtube channel it hurt his patreon it hurt um uh, his career and since he since you know when you have a degree in queer studies you can't like do anything all you can do is teach like you can teach queer studies so when you're an academic and you are outed as a plagiarist you also cannot teach so he his plagiarism precluded him from the only job outside of youtube he could ever possibly get without completely restarting his life and um, when James Summerton came back in a pop... Well, I don't know that that's true. There's plenty of plagiarists in academia. You just have to do a little light cursory glance. <laughs> There's many plagiarists in academia. But the point is, this is YouTube, not a scholarly paper. And I'm not saying it's right to do what he did, obviously. But who cares? Apologize. Uh, H bomber a couple of days. And again, he's a gender queer studies freak. Like I don't give a fuck about him to be clear, <laughs> but I give a fuck about fake news and 
you know, moral panic is not the term, but just, you know, uh, it's it's like a game of telephone. And, you know, every day it goes around. And this happened to Kiwi Farms and almost got their site blasted off the Internet. So you would think they would be sensitive to a fake suicide. But no, their leader actually has been trumpeting this right up until this very moment. Go even, I saw even today, they featured this story on their site. This video, um, it was a community feature that Summerton made his first post since H. Bomber Guy's video came out. He kind of meekly came back. He apologized for doing a bad job representing the queer community and actively hurting it, so on and so forth. Uh, H. Bomber Guy is not satiated with his bloodlust. His Medicare, see, while Summerton has a degree in queer studies, H. Bomber Guy has a master's in trolling people to suicide. Well, apparently not, because the guy is still alive, Moon, Potter, whatever the fuck you call yourself these days. Spoiler alert. So he went after his recent video, outlined how it was a uh, failure, and then says, congratulations to James on his first non-plagiarized video. And so two days later, uh, James Summerton posted this on his private Twitter account. He says, if this message is live, it means I scheduled it before ending things. I have videos scheduled oh, yeah. to go out over the next couple of days. Nothing new. I just want a next portfolio of work to be available. I have left directions that any money from these videos uh, be donated to the Canadian Association for Suicide Prevention. They've had a very hard time. To By the way, before ending things, that, that, that means maybe his channel, right? Or his content output. To me, people, and I'll listen to the rest of this, but to me, I did that in a way that is the most salacious, the most sensationalist, and then ran with it, and are continuing to do so. Pull me back, but there's simply no life for me anymore. I've lost everything, my only friend, my livelihood, my name, and it's all my own fault. This will be a little bit better off now. This world will be a little bit better off now. Goodbye. So, uh, he's killed himself. No, he hasn't killed himself. And again, this is the exact rerun of the playbook they ran against Kiwi Farms to shut down the site. And Josh was up in arms, no, whatever you want to call him, was up in arms, and how could they say this without proof? How could they do this without proof? They're shutting us down. They're killing free speech. And then, when it's to his own benefit, and to the benefit of others associated with him, he pushes it without any confirmation. And in fact, we today confirmed that the motherfucker is alive. I have not seen any retractions. I've not seen. And you probably won't. Friend, my livelihood, my name, and it's all my own fault. This will be a little bit better off now. This world will be a little bit better off now. Goodbye. So uh, he's killed himself, allegedly. He has claimed that he has killed himself. It remains to be seen. By the way, that's not a claim of killing yourself. Now, you can read it that way. But you can also read it in the way of ending his operations, right? It'll be, the world will be better off without me on YouTube. Now, I can see why people would, you know, maybe take it as a suicide note or whatever. But you could also easily take it the other way. And he was kind of baiting it, you know, most likely. But seeing it's not confirmed, H-Bomber guy has not posted since. And, of course, his Reddit is conf uh, it's deeply concerned. I genuinely hope that James Sunderland situation. Actually, they just say JS. Let's not let's not name drop this guy. The J. We're we're talking about the JSQ here. I'm genuinely hope that the JS situation won't harm Harry's mental health. It must feel awful to do something that was in and of itself absolutely morally fine, and see it spiral into this madness, Harry. I hope you are not beating yourself up and have a good support network right now. Whatever happens, you did good. Your intentions were pure. And you are not responsible for whatever JS did or did not do. And Kat, yes, Kat. By the way, <laughs> that's trash too. And again, I don't give a fuck about James Summerton. But they hounded this guy mercilessly. Again queer gender theory expert or whatever the fuck like fuck that obviously but the whole idea that this mob who was engaged in hounding this guy every single second since the h bomber guy video came out 
the idea that they don't have any responsibility and that H bomber guy doesn't have any responsibility for a possible suicide is retarded. Now, turns out he didn't die. He's still alive. So they definitely don't have any responsibility for that. But they're so quick to absolve themselves. You know what? Just own it. If somebody kills themselves because of some shit I did, I'm going to say, oh, well. Shouldn't have done it. Too bad. They're gone. But fake moral fagging fucks instead want to say, oh, well, we didn't really mean it. And now we were just wanting him to get better and da, 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 so that they can have a clean conscience. Well, I don't give a fuck what anybody does because of something I said on here. I don't want, you know. Well, there might be a couple that I'd like to see. Uh, take it. <laughs> take it all the way. But, you know, that's their decision. But see, that's the, that's the disease of these people. Uh, and I've talked about it many times before. They want to get up on Moral Fag Mountain. And then when, you know, the results of their mob activity, it didn't happen in this case, but it has happened before <laughs> uh, in various, you know, examples on the internet. And then it's like, oh, well, we just, we didn't mean it. And oh God, oh, no, fuck that. But again, this guy's alive. So that whole point doesn't even matter. But I said it anyway. Also deserves all the love in the world. And profit rolls or whatever is good for self-care for her. Thanks for calling me out on that omission. Internalized misogyny and ignoring her in What even is this Reddit? Put ...is what's happened here. Edit 2. If you genuinely think I cannot feel sorry for H-Bomb and JS at the same time and see Harry as the most affected party, you need to touch grass and think why you automatically chose the least charitable reading of what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i mean this is kind of mean it's pure content mill his list of sources which is a step up at least makes it abundantly clear he just loosely paraphrased his favorite true crime podcast it's uh you can't come back no buddy i'm not gonna let you come back i'm not gonna say oh hello ally hello comrade in the queer struggle you know even though you were a plagiarist you did a lot of good work. You had a million subscribers. You put your best foot forward. You taught all these people about how to be proud of who they are. And I'm happy to have you on the team. I think that you can put out your own original content. No. <laughs> I've reached Bomber Guy. I know your sin. Why does he laugh like some fucking... <laughs> what is that cartoon with the character who laughs like that? I can't think of it. <laughs> like, how does... Not that I don't have a unique laugh myself, but that was <laughs> atrocious. I have it written on my Medicare form. I'm going to uh, nail it to your fucking cross. And I crucify you, you fat fuck. Great job, dude. Could I don't look? I'm just saying, no confirmed Kiwi Farms kill. But if this guy is dead, H Bomber guy. Ha Apparently, H Bomber guy has done a lot more than one. I said he has a kill count of one, but I should have said plus one because apparently he's put in work before. Making, making us look like chumps chat with our zero kills. I don't think that's true. Now, the near bio thing didn't pan out in death. But I think, and some of the scholars in chat could uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, wasn't there another example? Somebody did kill themselves? Again, I don't care, but I'm just saying, I, I don't think that that's true. Why not just own it? Isn't there another, literally, I, I'm pretty sure, I want to say some girl offed herself. Again, I, I, I won't be like Josh and just say it without knowing it, but I, I seemingly recall another case or two where there was an actual suicide, but whatever. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'll, I'll qualify it, but I don't think I am. Josh, I hope Keppel's potential future doesn't harm your mental health. My dude, I live in a mental fortress my brain is made of steel it cannot be penetrated by anything so i have yes like knowledge uh, I, <laughs> I agree to that i agree with that okay so we ended on a note of agreement anyway if you 
these streams, if you see a bunch of content about this guy being dead, he's not dead. He's alive. Dead men don't deactivate their Twitter accounts. So the guy's alive. He did get stomped out by Bomber Guy. He did get roasted by all these people. Who knows if he's coming back to YouTube? I don't care. I never watched this shit anyway. But he's not dead. And I thought about getting into this later, but I had just been put on this story right before. And yesterday, as you'll recall, I think it was yesterday we talked about it. And I said, there's no evidence at all this guy's dead. Like, <laughs> but I see post after post after post about him being dead and bomber guy, kill count one and all this stuff. Well, kill count zero. Can't you just make streams and content about shit that actually happened? To me, that's way more interesting. Now, if we're doing a bit, we did a bit about some British guy with rotten teeth, you know, dying, and, you know, we did his funeral on here and all that stuff. Well, everybody knew that wasn't true. That was comedy. Outright so. And we were laughing during it. I mean, I separate obvious Comedy where there's a huge wink where you know the motherfucker's not dead. I separate that from, you know, just straight telling people that this guy's dead, featuring it on your site, other people who are supposedly sick with cancer, doing streams about it, and it's not the case. He's alive. Anyway, I don't know if anybody cares about that either, but... <laughs> I thought it was notable, particularly because a fake suicide almost took Kiwi Farms off the fucking airwaves, the internet tubes, but they have no problem pushing a fake suicide of their own for clicks and clout and super chats. And we'll see if there's any answer to that because I'm dead right. There's nothing <laughs> that's dead. My correctness is dead on the mark. We'll see if anybody has the temerity to respond to that because I don't see how you can refute anything I just said. But we'll stay tuned on that. Again, fuck James Summerton. I don't care about him. But I'm just saying. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.